I'm Bennett Hennessy. I'm here at Asociación Armonía's Barbasul Nature Reserve. This is a reserve we created to protect the blue-throated macaw. So I'm here in the end of April, which is pretty much the end of the rainy season. So I've just come out of the, the closed forest where there are black howler monkeys singing and now walking along the Cerrado Trail. The goal is to see if we can see the blue-throated macaw today. Here we have the lineated woodpecker. The lineated is sort of adapted to come out of forest areas. It can go through bushes, isolated trees, and it's calling actually. They do this loud uh, knocking song. So the lineated woodpecker does one sort of a brrr, whereas the crimson crested does a duck brrr. And that's, that's like a song for their territory area. Here we have the chopi blackbird. This is one of the more common savanna species. Uh, they travel around in groups. It's a type of icterid, a, a blackbird, and it frequently vocalizes. So it often the song sort of makes up the, the sound environment of the savannas. Um, they can sing throughout the heat of the day, um, all day round, all year round as well. Here we have the chestnut-eared arasari. So many arasaris are closed forest species, and this is one that will travel out of the forest, travel between forest islands. You'll see them flying over savanna areas. It has quite a wide distribution in, in South America. Here we have the, the toko tucan. This is, uh, this is a species that really is a savanna species, almost never in any kind of closed forest. And often you see them flying between uh, trees, isolated in the middle of nowhere, uh, in groups of two and four. They're, they're quite common here in Barbasul Nature Reserve. So, okay, I can hear blue-throated macaws up ahead. So, in the more open areas, you get the, the species that are adapted to pure savanna. The most common is the grassland sparrow. Grassland sparrow's song is sort of indicative of the tropical savanna, and it has that song type that's very particular to open, open grass areas. It, it passes well through the area. They again, this is this is the most common species you find in in large areas of grassland. So here we have the campo wren. The campo wren used to be called the sedge wren and it was believed to be the same species from North America all the way down to Argentina. But now it's been split up into about four different species, and the one for the savannas of Argentina and Bolivia is called the Campo Ren, its own specific species. I'm actually hearing over here the house wren, and the house wren is also right now considered to be the same species from Canada to Argentina, but people are discussing that it's probably quite a few different species that need to be studied. So there's still quite a bit we can learn about the distribution, the species diversity within Latin America. Yeah. Here we have the savanna hawk. It's, it's one of the several hawk species we have in the reserve, but this guy's dedicated to open areas and the grasslands.
sort of savanna species, the peach-fronted parakeet. So you get different parakeets in, in the reserve. The peach-fronted is the savanna parakeet. You never would see it in a closed forest. Uh, they're usually traveling in groups of two, not terribly vocal, and will forage through these kind of savanna trees um, here. And then as another sort of influence of Cerrado, we have the long-tailed ground dove. This is a beautiful species of ground dove that's found in Cerrado areas and often on the edge near the, actually the runway of Barbasol Nature Reserve. It's a very beautiful little species. So this is the yellow-collared macaw. It's one of the several species of macaws that we have in Barbasol Nature Reserve. And it's a species that's adapted again to savanna, forest areas, um, not terribly common. So here we have the Orinoco goose. The Orinoco goose breeds in the tree cavities in the Cerrado area of Barbaso Nature Reserve. There, it's about a half a mile from the river where, where this nest is. And when the chicks, I guess, are the right light or survivable age, you can see it flying one by one, carrying a chick in the air, in, in its bill, to the river. And then we've often found uh, a, a little family with sometimes up to 20 chicks in the, in the water. Here we have the blue-throated macaw. Here, this is my favorite spot to try to see them. You sort of have lower trees and they're, they're easier to see and film. We have, we've counted now in Bolivia about 450 birds. We have probably around 150 that come to Barbasco Nature Reserve every year. But they're not breeding in the reserve yet, but they, they come here to pass the, the winter time out of breeding season foraging on the Motoku palm fruits and roosting in our forest islands, a safe place to stay. Uh, and every year we're seeing that the population is, is increasing because we're seeing um, parents arriving with chicks and feeding chicks um, and teaching chicks that the Barbaso Nature Reserve is a safe place where they can come and, and eat. the tropical kingbird are, are birds that are resident species, but we also get a real influx of what they call austral migrants, the birds from Argentina that migrate during Argentina's winter to Bolivia to pass winter in Bolivia. And so Barbasul Nature Reserve in June, July, August fills with many of the austral migrants. And then we get many other flycatcher species that, that will pass their winter here that live in the savannas. So now, later in the day, the vultures are going to get ready to start flying and looking for thermals to get rising hot air into the sky. Here in the Barbasul Reserve, we have turkey vultures, which are the same species all the way up in North America. We also have black vultures, which is the same species that goes up to North America. And we have the lesser yellow-headed vulture, which is a species that's adapted to the savannas, the tropical savannas of South America. So that's an example of some of the Cerrado species you can see at Barbasol Nature Reserve. There are other habitats here, tall forests, forest islands, the gallery forest, marshes, rivers, savanna. Each one have species that are adapted to that type of habit. There are about 360 species that are known in Barbasol Nature Reserve, including austral migrants that come up in Bolivia's winter from June to July, uh, buff-breasted sandpipers that migrate through from September to October, and blue-throated macaws, large groups of blue-throated macaws that are here from 
uh, in groups of April to October. Um, we have cabins, we have facilities here, we are open year-round and your visiting helps support our conservation of the area.